We have brand new updates regarding multiple Metal Gear Solid remakes and in my Metal Gear Solid 2023 showcase video we even went over some potential Metal Gear Solid remasters which I'll leave in the description comments and the eye in the corner but let's get straight into these brand new updates and rumors and leaks of Metal Gear Solid. So we have a tease from Konami, which according to VGC on the 2nd of January, Konami tease reveals for games, it says, are quietly underway. As part of its New Year greeting published on Famitsu, the company mentioned new games for well-known series, likely referencing the roster of Silent Hill games and Castlevania collaboration announced last year. However, it said it also had new announcements to make regarding projects deeply and quietly underway behind the scenes. In addition, New projects that we have yet to announce to you are also deeply and quietly underway. Please look forward to Konami's future announcements. That's what their statement read. We have talked about this before in my previous Metal Gear Solid video in the showcase and even my um, remake update video. But I just wanted to set the stage for the new updates. So let's get into it. According to earlygame.com, as reported by Spanish outlet Aria Jagones, the Metal Gear Solid remake is real and coming soon, but they also claim that it will be a PS5 exclusive with no plans for PS4 version in the works. Obviously that's bad news for PS4, but we're two years into the PS5's life cycle, so it's to be expected. Aria Jagona's Spanish tweet translated to, The Metal Gear Solid remake is real. At least this is the information that we have received from an anonymous source who tell us that the project has been developed exclusively for PlayStation 5 for years. So just like the previous rumors we discussed in my showcase Metal Gear Solid 2023 video, again it seems to state that we, it will be definitively a PS5 exclusive as Sony and Konami have a really good relationship and even Silent Hill 2 is a console exclusive to PlayStation 5. Also, another update from Aria Jagones on the release date of the game. The Spanish publication has now added that their source expect the Metal Gear Solid remake to be revealed before May 2023. The Metal Gear Solid remake announcement should occur before May 2023. Now, we're going to go over another leak or update which kind of teases another release date for the potential Metal Gear Solid game. So, PlayStation's third party reveal showcase has also been in the news where According to Insider Gaming, PlayStation to announce third-party content very soon, Snitch claims. So, Snitch is a reliable source that is at the Insider Gaming publication. So, according to a reliable source of the Snitch, PlayStation is on the verge of announcing third-party content very soon, but little more than that is known at the present. So, this makes sense for Sony to have a showcase soon where they can reveal upcoming third-party games, coming to PlayStation 5 which I assume their closer for the show for the their closer for the show sorry would be the Metal Gear Solid remake which would be like this big last final announcement that gets everybody so so excited and then hopefully later during the year we can get a Konami stream with many more Metal Gear Solid announcements hopefully including another tease or gameplay for the Metal Gear Solid remake as well as the previously discussed Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 and 3 HD remasters, Metal Gear Solid 4 HD remaster, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remake and even hopefully gameplay for Metal Gear Solid remake itself as well and maybe some new titles which we'll hopefully get into later in this video. Now another reveal teasing when this announcement of a Metal Gear Solid remake will take place is seemingly within the next few weeks. According to comicbook.com on January 17, 2023, According to a new message from Quinton Flynn, a new reveal of some sort tied to Metal Gear Solid could be happening in the near future. For those unaware, Flynn is a voice actor that previously portrayed the character Raiden in the Metal Gear series. Flynn starred in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriot and the action-focused Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So a user by the name of Zonex said, Perhaps a Metal Gear Rising 2 along with the rest of the upcoming Metal Gear showcase might just make it? Question mark. And Quinton Flynn replied, Stay tuned for things to be announced in the coming weeks. 
So it seems Konami is gearing up for new announcements tied to Metal Gear. The most likely reveal could be a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Although there have been many rumors about potential remakes of various installments in the Metal Gear Solid series, Metal Gear Solid 3 is the entry that has seemed to be the most credible to come about. Obviously time will only tell if this ends up playing out, but it's worth keeping in mind as the coming weeks approach. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get something about Metal Gear Solid 1 Remake or Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake or both within the next few weeks. And again, this lines up with a potential PlayStation third party showcase or whatever the state of play or just a normal PlayStation showcase that's going to come out, which seemingly will show off a lot of third party games along with the rumor that it seems like this announcement of the Metal Gear Solid remake will come before May 2023. Now we have talked about this in the Metal Gear Solid showcase video I did, that there have been rumors for Metal Gear Solid 1 remake, 3 remake, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 and 3 HD remasters, along with a Metal Gear Solid HD collection, Metal Gear Solid 4 HD remaster and Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake ports. So with all these rumored projects and with Metal Gear Solid remake and Metal Gear Solid 3 remake seemingly the most likely, it seems we should be getting hopefully not one, but at least two or three Metal Gear Solid projects announced in 2023. So we've got all these projects of remakes and remasters, but what about the sequels? Well, as of right now, there isn't anything in regards to Metal Gear Solid 6 or Metal Gear Rising 2, although the Raiden voice actor has teased something which is most likely a Metal Gear Solid 1 or 3 remake, there could be a possibility that we may even get a title card for Metal Gear Rising 2. But right now it seems Konami will be capitalizing off Metal Gear Solid franchise through remakes and remasters. Let the sales come in for those projects and then inevitably they will have to make a decision for the future of the franchise. You can't just keep doing remakes and remasters forever. But I would say they have at least 10 years or so to make that decision and remember, Game development does take a long time, so I think after Metal Gear Solid 1 and 3 Remake come out, that is when they will start looking at options for a sequel to Rising and of course Metal Gear Solid 6, with hopefully making up with Kojima or make some kind of deal. But it would make sense for them to start looking for the next studio to steer the franchise. I also wanted to point out for those who are not aware that Konami is actually licensing their IP out to the developers. So with Silent Hill, they are making different styles of games with different devs like Silent Hill 2 Remake with Bloober Team, which is a remake. Silent Hill F will be something new. Silent Hill Ascension is an interacting streaming series developed by Genvid Technologies, Bad Robot Games, Behavior Interactive and DJ2 Entertainment. We could see this with Metal Gear Solid and have different types of stories when it comes to the new games for now, so the, the games that are not remasters or remakes. Where the remake, remakes and remasters are console games, we could get a VR game, a real-time strategy game, and even, of course, mobile games. They could also test out different developers with spin-off Metal Gear Solid games and find their next best fit to, dare I say it, take over the franchise and create the next mainline game being Metal Gear Solid 6. But I think just licensing out Metal Gear Solid 6 to Kojima Studios for the sixth installment would be the best approach if Hideo Kojima would even want to do that. I mean, Metal Gear Solid is a massive franchise, so the fact that they would definitely need someone if Hideo Kojima doesn't want to come back to the franchise, which it wouldn't be any fault of his own after Konami's treatment to him, but they would, as a business, you would need to find someone that is very, very passionate about the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Someone who can really give something special to the franchise. And that is literally, that is such a hard task to be able to deliver or to find someone to deliver that kind of game, that kind of prestige to the game, to develop the game in such a way that it is iconic, it is reminiscent of the games from before and it is something new in its own right. So again, they will need to find someone eventually if Hideo Kojima, if they can't make a deal with Hideo Kojima, they will definitely need to find someone. So this approach of maybe giving spin-off games, giving little spin-off games, you know, third-person action games where they could 
see the different fits they can have different characters within the metal gear solid world and whatever story is the best whatever development whatever technical aspects of the games are the best with someone who shows passion someone who shows love for the franchise someone who is developed a game that is something special and unique that could be the development team that could be the creator that could be the person to lead the franchise for the next metal gear solid installment which would be metal gear solid 6 or even metal gear solid rising 2 but that's it for the video guys thank you so much for watching peace out god bless and i hope to see you in one of my next videos